This video is a brief overview of NextTuna's Atlantic Bluefin Tuna Feeding Trial. Conducted in partnership with the Spanish Oceanographic Institute, also referred to as the IEO, and Scretting. This project was funded by NextTuna and AquaXL. NextTuna offers a sustainable alternative to wild catch by reproducing tuna and recirculating aqua systems. This has been achieved in research and we will be scaling it to the commercial application. Here at the Spanish Institute of Oceanography, Atlantic bluefin tuna was raised from egg to 250 kilogram size in a recirculating aquaculture system. Breeding tuna is challenging. We had to come with innovations in five areas. First of all, scale the available protocols, commercial scale, implement a scientific breeding program, apply latest rust development to Atlantic bluefin tuna, design novel floating rust systems to solve logistic issues with the species, and last but not least, develop an infantile juvenile to avoid escapees issues as we see them with the salmon industry. To address the first issue of feeding of tuna with commercial diets, initial tests were conducted at the IEO with European commercial feed from Scretting. At day 23 post-hatch, the team began to wean the fish with an off-the-shelf larval feed. Initially, the fish showed no reaction to the feed. However, by day 30 post-hatch, already half of the fish were accepting the dry feed. And a few days later, all the fish were easily accepting the dry feed and were fully weaned. After successfully weaning, we continued to feed the tuna with a scretting commercial diet until the fish reached approximately 200 grams at three and a half months post-hatch. This marked the end of the first feeding trial of Atlantic bluefin tuna with European commercial diets. The growth and survival of the fish with scretting feed was better than expected. In order to successfully produce Atlantic bluefin tuna, at commercial scale additional work will be conducted. We thank AquaXL for the funding to support.